All right, so today I'm going to demo Scriv.ai. Scriv lets you create a private chatbot based on your company's data or any other data that you want. You can create a bot in just minutes, and I'm going to walk through that process now. So first I'm going to sign up for Scriv. I'm going to put in my email address, choose a password, and add my company name. Then I'm going to sign up. Once I've signed into Scriv, I can create my first chatbot. I want to create a bot for my product, SAS Pegasus. After I've created a bot, I'll be asked to add some knowledge sources. Knowledge sources are the information that your bot will use to answer questions. Since my product documentation is on GitHub, I'm going to add a GitHub repo. I'll add a name for the knowledge source, and then I'll type in the repository information that I want to use. I'm also going to add a file name pattern, which will tell Scriv to only use files matching this pattern. In this case, I only want to match markdown files in my GitHub repository. After I've clicked Save, you'll see that Scriv will start indexing my knowledge. In this case, there wasn't a lot of documentation, so it indexed almost instantly. I can refresh the page and see that 404 documents have been indexed. I can now test the bot, first by chatting with it online. I'll create a new chat, and then I'll ask it a question that I know is in the documentation. In this case, I'll ask it how to start a new project. Scriv will think a little bit as it searches the documentation and finds an answer. Now we can see that Scriv has come back with some information about starting a new project. Note that I didn't have to provide it any additional context. It knew I was asking about SAS Pegasus and gave me instructions specifically for the SAS Pegasus project. Scriv has also provided sources. So if I want to find out more information, I can dig in and read the complete documentation. Next, I'll show how to connect Scriv to Slack. I'll click on the Connect to Slack link here. Scriv can optionally import your data from Slack too, if you want to create knowledge based on your Slack conversations. But for now, I'm going to uncheck that. Then I'll click Connect. I'll click Allow to add Scriv to my Slack workspace. Now I see a message seeing that my workspace is successfully connected. And now in Slack, we can see that Scriv has been added to my workspace. Let's try asking it a question. We can ask it the same question we asked it before. How do I start a new project? Once again, Scriv will take a little bit of time to think about it before responding. Looks like we've got a response. Once again, you can see that Scriv has used its knowledge to provide an answer specific to my project. I can ask additional questions if I want. In this case, I'll ask it about running the project with Docker. Scriv will think about that for a minute and hopefully get back to me with the response. There we go. And you can see once again, Scriv has cited its sources. And we can follow up with these links for more information. Here's the Docker documentation that I was looking for. You can also use Scriv in channels just by mentioning it. First, I'll add it. And then I'll ask it a simple question, just to make sure it works. And we can see the response here. So that's Scriv in a nutshell. In this example, I only created one knowledge source, but I can add as many as I want. 
and the bot will get smarter and smarter. If you'd like to try Scriv yourself, you can sign up for free at scriv.ai.